hey man if you are thinking to plot multiple graph in one figure like this or multiple plot in one graph like this then this is the right video for you here in this video we are not only going to learn how to plot multiple graphs but also how to make it more attractive using different functions so without wasting time let's quickly jump to the video hey this is muduraj and you are watching learning vibes and welcome to another video in video lecture series on matlab tutorials in previous video we have seen how to plot a simple graph for that you just need to write this much of thing we'll remove this added things so this three lines will give you a simple sinusoidal plot just run this thing and we can have this simple plot so previously we have seen how to make this simple boring graph into an exciting graph like this it seems more appropriate it looks very nice more professional so if you want to learn that thing then you can check out my previous video the link of that video is provided in description box below and here in card we will use the same script to plot multiple graph in one figure and if you want to download this script file you can join our telegram group there i will share this file and you can modify it as per your requirement and you can reuse it wherever you want to use up to end of this video whatever changes we are going to make in this script file you can download the script file from our telegram group so stay tuned to this video till the end now here in this graph we have one sign function now what we'll do we'll add one more plot into same graph so two plot in one graph so we will add one more waveform and that will be cosine function so let's write script for that and to do all these things we are going to use this same script we'll add these details into the script so first of all i'll write script to add one more function to add one more variable to create a graph let's call it b so b is equal to cos of t so ultimately we are defining another variable b this a variable we are using to plot a sinusoidal graph and we'll use this b variable to plot a cosine graph now this fourth line represents command to plot a sine graph now we'll write it again plot t comma b we are just writing it very simple basic plot command and let's see what happens if we directly write this plot command it's just showing me only cosine graph it is not showing me the sine graph right so to have both this plot in one graph we need to write some additional command so let's close this thing and let me tell you that additional command is hold on so we need to write it before we write any plot command so here we'll write hold on so what it will do it will hold value of all the plot and represent all the plot in one graph so let's implement this thing and run the circuit so we have written the hold on and now let's run now you can see we are able to observe both this graph but the thing is this graph is simple and we have added these things to this graph so now let's make this graph also a little bit attractive so what we'll do we'll just copy all these things comma and paste it i want to make the color of this graph blue so i'll represent this with blue and the rest of the thing will be same so now you can see both this graph looks nice now i don't want this theta 90 degree text right so i will remove this text line 
and uh, run it again so now i have appropriate graph so now the graph is looks appropriate but this legend is showing only sine wave so now i want to add legend of cos wave also so for that what we'll do over here we have written legend but that is only for sine wave so we'll add cos wave 2 so that's it and let's run it so now we have legend of sine wave and cos wave both but the thing is over here my legend is overlapping my graph which is not appropriate way so what i'll do i'll change the location of legend i'll close this thing i'll go in this legend command and write location best so it will place this legend at the best possible location let's run this thing see the legend has been shifted to such a location where legend is also clearly visible and full graph is also clearly visible there are various location of this legend you can set this area is known as east area it's west area south area north area southeast and likewise east north west north and southwest so you can place this legend anywhere you want to place let's place it in east area so we'll close it just remove this best and write east and see it shifted over here so likewise as per your requirement you can set the location of this legend wherever you want so if you are confused about where to locate this legend then let this helpful work be done by matlab and for that just remove this east write best and run so matlab will automatically place it on the best possible location so this is how you can have a multiple plot in single graph now the next thing is if you want to plot multiple graph in single figure now let's understand the difference between these two multiple plot in one graph means here there is only one graph represented and these are two plots in one graph but this image is one figure so if you want to add multiple graph in one figure that means one graph over here and the another graph on another location that is known as multiple graph in one figure if you want to plot multiple graph in one figure then you need to use some another command so in this section we are going to explore that another command so let's explore that thing close this hey man before you move ahead there is a small request for you just hit that like button don't skip man just hit that like button it will take just a moment of one second your one like motivate us a lot so please to motivate me hit that like button and if you motivate me a little bit more if you want to connect with me you can subscribe to our channel i'm not asking anything big just hit the like button now you can carry on the video so now what we'll do now we want to try another thing so for that we do not require this hold on command right so what we'll do we'll just make it a comment so it will not be counted as a part of our script so to plot multiple graph in one figure we should use subplot command the command is subplot now what this subplot does actually it creates m cross n matrix of a figure let me show you an example to exactly understand what this subplot tries to explain so in this example you will be able to understand the subplot will create a matrix of r cross c row cross column so the intersection point will be one location for each figure 
So for example, numbers of rows are 2 and numbers of columns are 3. So the matrix will become 2 comma 3. And in that matrix, you can place 6 different graphs in one figure. The numbers of these figures are like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So now when we see the syntax of subplot, it will look like this. So subplot 2 comma 3 that represents a matrix of 2 row and 3 column. That means in one figure you can place 6 images. And when you write 1, that means whatever plot command you are going to write after this plot, that graph will be plotted in location number 1. So to place another image on location number 2, again write plot and change this 1 to 2. So it will place new graph in location number 2. So now let's implement this thing in MATLAB and understand it a little bit better. So here we are going to write subplot 1 comma 2 location 1. Let's run this thing. See, we have created two graphs, right? But second graph we are not able to see. We are able to see only one graph. Why it is like this? It is so simple because the location of second graph we have not even specified. So we need to specify the location for each and every plot. Then only all the plots will be able to visible. So what we'll do, we'll copy this thing, write it after this over here location number 2. Let's run it and now you will be able to see this thing. So can you see both the graphs are available now? There are few changes in both the graph and that we are going to see. But just imagine I'll close this thing and if I reverse this thing instead of 1 cross 2 I'll make it 2 cross 1 and run it. See you will be able to see these graphs like this. So now in this plot, there are two row and one column. So we can fit two graphs into this. Now, one thing you can observe over here, in graph number one, there is no grid, no axis title, no title of the graph. But over here, we have written all these things, right? So just remember, whenever you are using this subplot command, after each and every plot, you have to write all these details. So, grid on, X label, Y label, title and legend. You have to mention each and everything after this plot and before this subplot. So, to add all these details to this plot. So, now let's copy all these things. Paste over here. This is graph of A, that means it is a sinusoidal waveform, right? And this is cosine waveform. So what we'll do, we'll change legend, we'll update it. One more thing I have noticed over here. See, before we update it, over here, you just observe, there is a warning ignoring extra legend. What it is doing exactly? Over here, we are providing two legends, right? Just forget this thing, right? Over here, we are using two legends. But in this subplot, we are giving only one graph. So in that graph, there is only particular one plot. So for one plot, we are giving two legends. So what it is doing, it is automatically removing the second legend from the graph. And that is what this warning wants to see right so now let's paste it again our this section is for sinusoidal plot it is a so we'll keep sine wave and we'll remove this cosine wave our second plot is of cosine wave so we'll remove this sine and now let's run it again and now you will be able to see all the details are available Observe over here the location of this legend is here and here location of the legend is here and why it is like this 
because we have written over here location of legend is best possible location so this is how you can add multiple graph in one figure hey man before you jump ahead there is a quick short question for you and that is for your brain test i am going to ask you a one question and you need to answer that question in comments below your question is this which of the following command is used to add multiple plot in one graph remember this multiple plot in one graph your options are this think carefully remember what we have seen in this video and then write the answer in comment section below do not forget to write the answer in comment section below i am asking this question because it will give you a verification check that whether really you have learned anything from this video or not hey for more information on latest ongoing video lecture series or on upcoming webinars on upcoming expert talks keep checking our youtube's channels page there i will provide all the latest relevant information for you so keep checking our channels page you will find all the relevant and latest useful information on our page in next video we are going to learn something extremely good about matlab so stay connected to this channel and hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed it till now and if you want to learn anything more in matlab just write that thing in comments below i'll try to make video on that topic if i know how to do that okay the link of full matlab playlist is provided in description box below you can check out it anytime so until we meet again in our next video till that time bye bye